Hey, welcome back to the channel. I want to do a quick video review of the Seiko Recraft series. I believe it's SNKP27, something along those lines. This is in the green and gold. Now I'm returning this watch because I imagined it to be more <clears throat> impactful than it actually was. I'm sorry for the glare, but you kind of see here, it is a very pretty watch, but it doesn't have the same sort of presence as, say, a Cartier or something like that. This is a more of a 70s homage watch, and it doesn't really fit my style. I thought I would like it more. I'm going to put it on my wrist right now. Currently, I'm rocking the Steel Dive. This is the Submariner Homage, and it's been one of my favorite watches to date. I have the Seiko Original uh, SKX007, I believe, is what the um, the the watch is. It's the original diver, and I like the Steel Dive more than the SKX. Um, just a really nice watch for the price. It has a Seiko movement in it, so I don't feel ill will towards my actual accuracy of timekeeping. And it just, it it's a perfect homage um, without being overly stated. It's not an Invicta with a big engraving on the side. So that's what I'm wearing right now. But let's go ahead and put on the Recraft. Now that is on a seven and a quarter inch wrist and it still looks slightly big. And that's one of my biggest concerns with it. It's very tall and more bulky than I would desire. Um, just from the photos and videos, I thought I would like it a little bit more, but um, not not looking that way after seeing it on the wrist and everything. It's There's nothing too bad about the, the watch or the design. It just... It's just not what I want it to be, and I thought I would share that. Some people, I haven't seen really many negative reviews about it as far as mm, the looks and the feel, but I personally just, it feels a little bit too too trying for what it is. Um, their Cartier Tank homage, that's quartz is probably more along the the kind of watch that i really wanted out of this style so if you're looking at this recraft um, and thinking you want this automatic very high class elegant watch you might want to go with the the cartier tank homage because this one just looks a little bit too overstated. It's it looks a little bit too modern. It looks similar to something out of like uh, uh, Daniel Wellington or something like that. It just is too too much for what it is, and it reminds me of of more of like a just a throwaway designer watch that you would see at the mall or something that isn't really a name brand. The one that I think of most is like Nixon, like a surf brand style watch. This is what it kind of reminds me of. And um, it just, it kind of um, doesn't look as refined as it could, but this is just a short review because I'm returning it right now and I wanted to make sure I covered it on the wrist. Pretty tall, but you know, it's a, it's a decent watch if this is what you're looking for. Wasn't for me, but maybe the next one will be. See you on the next one.